the number of people that had side effects on this drug, it was a rather stunning 89%. So nausea had 44% in the treatment group versus 17% in the placebo. That's Dr. Jason Fung. If you follow this channel, you know he's not afraid to challenge mainstream ideas and back it up with results. He's a nephrologist, researcher, and best-selling author of The Obesity Code. His work has helped thousands break free from the dieting hamster wheel, and today, he's showing us something truly eye-opening. You've seen the headlines. You've probably heard friends talk about it. Maybe your doctor even brought it up. Ozempic, the so-called miracle weight loss shot. Despite its miraculousness, as Dr. Jason Fung put it, its side effects have been felt by almost everyone on it. Yet, here's the twist. And you got to remember that Ozempic does not directly affect calorie intake. What it does is it controls the hunger, which then reduces the calories, which causes the weight loss. But because it controls the hunger, what you're doing is attacking the root cause of the problem. Because if you're really hungry and you simply eat fewer calories and you're still hungry, well, that's not a very sustainable situation because then you're hungry all the time. And when you're hungry, you're going to want to snack or you're going to eat more frequently or you're going to make those bad choices. So really, Ozempic teaches us that it's really about controlling the hunger and not the calories. And we see this in other drugs too. You see this in nicotine, for example. Uh, it also is well known to reduce hunger. In fact, uh, studies going back hundreds of years have shown that uh, even native peoples had used uh, tobacco as a way to cut down the hunger pangs. When you smoked, you simply didn't want to eat as much and you see this effect in weight. That one statement changes everything. Because if hunger, not calories, is the real problem, then maybe there's a better way. A way that doesn't depend on injections. Stick with me, because today, we're not just unpacking what Ozempic does. We're going deeper, comparing it head-to-head -head with something ancient, free, and surprisingly powerful. Fasting. One is a pharmaceutical breakthrough. The other, a natural reset button for your metabolism. Spoiler alert. One helps rewire your biology for lasting change. The other might just hit pause on the problem. But before we go further, if you're currently on Ozempic or any medication prescribed by your doctor, it's crucial to have that conversation with your healthcare provider. These drugs are often used to manage serious conditions like type 2 diabetes, and any decision to reduce or stop them should always be made with professional guidance. Because as Dr. Fung puts it, the instinct is to not eat, and when you don't eat, your body is going to use those sources of calories that it has stored, which is glucose and body fat. So therefore, you see that it's a very good drug to reduce blood glucose for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and also for uh, obesity. All right, now let's dive in. Ozempic, also known as semaglutide, is a GLP-1 receptor agonist. It mimics a hormone that tells your brain, I'm full, that's powerful. And in a clinical trial, people lost up to 15% of their body weight using it. Sounds amazing, right? But here's the thing, it's not magic. It works by making you less hungry, not by burning fat directly, not by speeding up your metabolism, just making you not want to eat. The question is then, what controls hunger? And some people think that hunger is really just about having no food in your stomach. That's not true. It's actually a hormonal state. Compare that to fasting, where your body actively burns fat because you're giving it the chance to do what it was designed for. Let's unpack this. Ozempic works in three main ways. It slows down how fast food leaves your stomach. It tells your brain you're full. And it can make you nauseous on purpose. Because when you feel sick, you don't want to eat. If you look at the number of daily meals that they take, like how often people are eating, it's down by about 0.6 meals per day. If you look at how often they snack, it's down by about 1.4 snacks per day. They also intended to increase their exercise and they changed the foods that they were eating. So if you're less hungry, then it's a lot easier to make those healthy choices. Yes, it works. But here's the hidden cost. 
89% report side effects. Hunger signals may get dulled long term. And once you stop the drug, the weight often comes right back. Now let's look at fasting. Fasting taps into something deeper, hormonal reset. When you fast, insulin drops. That allows fat burning to turn on. After 16 hours, the body switches to using fat for fuel. Growth hormone rises, helping protect muscle and even promote repair. Autophagy begins, a kind of cellular spring cleaning. Real people, real results. Patients dropping 40, 50, even 80 plus pounds. Type 2 diabetes being controlled and reversed. Waistlines shrinking, A1Cs normalizing, without medications. And unlike Ozempic, fasting builds resilience, not reliance. So what does Ozempic really teach us about weight loss? Is it all about the calories? Is it just because of the calories? And the answer here is a definite no. You have to remember that there's lots of effects. There's decreased meal frequencies, decreased snacking, decreased carbohydrates, there's less eating out, less fast food. So you can't simply say that it's due to the less in calories. It could be any of those other effects. Tap the link in the description to watch how one woman under medical supervision took on a 21-day water-only fast, not only transforming her weight, but also showing surprising improvements in her cancer journey. Here's what's amazing. You can tailor fasting to your life. Try 16-8 fasting. Eat in an 8-hour window. Go for a 24-hour fast once or twice a week. Even alternate day fasting if you're ready. No injections. No nausea. Just your body doing what it's built to do. Meanwhile, with Ozempic and similar drugs being used for fat loss, you're injecting weekly. You may feel sick. And you're dependent on a product that costs hundreds per month. Want to make fasting easier? Here are a few tips. Drink water and herbal tea to stay hydrated. Stay busy. Don't fast on your most stressful day. Ease into it. Try skipping breakfast a few days a week. And remember, hunger isn't an emergency. Often, it fades. With Ozempic, you rely on a drug to suppress hunger. With fasting, you train your body to experience true hunger and real satisfaction. So what's the takeaway? Ozempic works, but it's a shortcut. Fasting? That's the reboot button your body's been waiting for. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. It really helps more people see this info. Drop a comment below. Have you tried Ozempic or fasting? What was your experience? And if you want more honest health breakdowns, no hype, just science. Subscribe to A Man Talks Health. I'm here to talk truth. And your journey? It's just getting started. Until next time, stay curious, stay healthy, and stay hungry for knowledge.